the REACH Surgical Third Generation Endoscopic Linear Cutter Endo 3. Introduction to Endo 3 and each of its parts. Anvil, cartridge holder, flexible neck, shaft, function knob, rotation articulation indicator, white trigger, closing lever, return knob, six different height cartridges. Applications of the Endo 3. Endo 3 endoscopic linear cutter couple with a single use cartridge works for open or endoscopic surgery, for dissection, transection, and anastomosis of lung, bronchial, stomach, and intestinal tissues. Endo 3 can be used with up to 12 cartridges in a single surgery. Endo 3 features and benefits. The cartridge has a single use knife. Single-use knife is better to avoid tumor metastasis. 400 series knife is sharper and more effective. Six different height cartridges can handle different tissue thicknesses. All can pass through a 12 millimeter trocar so it is even less invasive. Increased tissue compression at the jaw. Tissue compression is three times more compared to the previous instrument. There is much less tissue milking and better staple formation. Flexible neck. The jaw can be stopped at any angle between 0 and 45 degrees. Can better handle difficult angles during surgery. Stable control. Force to fire is 25% less compared to other similar devices. Stable firing. Less shaking. More effective. Reduces risk of damage to tissue from pulling. Single function knob with rotation and articulation easier for one-handed operation. Instructions for use and precautions. Cartridge installation. One, first pull back the return knob to reinitialize the instrument. Adjust the rotation knob to return the neck of the jaw to the initial position. Two, insert the cartridge at an angle into the base of the cartridge holder. Then push down the cartridge into the seating and make sure it is completely in position. Be sure not to pull out the red safety tab until the cartridge has been completely seated in its position. Three, take out the red safety tab by grabbing the base of the cartridge holder. Then use the thumb to push out the red safety tab outward towards the anvil. To open and close the instrument jaw. One, to close the jaw, pull down on the gray trigger slowly. Two, in the case of a minimal invasive surgery, the instrument can pass through a 12 millimeter trocar and enter the body. Three, to open the jaw, pull back on the return knob slowly until the jaw is fully opened. Adjusting the angle of the instrument jaw. One, when adjusting the angle, make sure that the jaw is open. Two, push the function knob front to the rotation position. The jaw can be rotated 360 degrees. Three, pull back the function knob to the articulation position. The jaw can be articulated to any angle between zero and 45 degrees. Positioning tissue, cutting and stapling tissue. One, place the tissue inside the jaw. Make sure that the tissue to be operated on is inside the indicated marks, then push down the gray lever completely to close the jaw. Two, if the tissue needs to be repositioned, pull back the return knob to open the jaw and adjust the tissue to the desired position. Wait for 15 seconds. Three, wait for 15 seconds before firing the instrument to make sure that the tissue liquids have been pushed out and to get the best possible anastomotic effect. Four, when firing, press down on the white trigger fully and slowly and continue until the firing process has been completed. A 60 millimeter cartridge needs to be fired for five times and a 45 millimeter cartridge needs to be fired for four times. After firing is completed, pull back the return knob to return the instrument to the initial position. Taking out the instrument and unloading the cartridge. One, after completing the firing, inspect the staple line. Two, adjust the function knob to return the jaw to the initial position. Three, close the jaw of the instrument before taking it out from the trocar. 
After taking the instrument out, open the jaw again. 4. To unload the cartridge, grab the base of the cartridge holder, then use the thumb to push the front of the cartridge outward towards the anvil, then take the cartridge out of its seating. 5. The Endo 3 can be used with up to 12 cartridges in a single surgery. When it is necessary to change a cartridge, first dip the jaw of the instrument in a saline solution and rinse to clean any residual staples before installing a new cartridge. Precautions Tips for installing the cartridge Insert the cartridge at an angle to the base of the cartridge holder, then push the cartridge into the seating until you hear a clack sound to confirm that the cartridge is well placed. Precautions for installing the cartridge 1. You should not remove the red safety tab before the cartridge is installed. 2. Insert the cartridge into the base of the cartridge holder at any angle. The cartridge should not slide to the base to prevent any touches to the safety device. 3. When finished installing, inspect to make sure that the cartridge and the cartridge holder are completely aligned. Operating Precaution 1. It is necessary to wait for 15 seconds before firing to make sure that any liquids from the tissue at the jaw have been pushed out so that there is a good anastomotic result. When firing the instrument, make sure that the white trigger is pushed all the way in. If the trigger is let go before being fully pushed down, the safety could be accidentally engaged, making it not possible to fire the instrument again. Operating Precaution 2 if it is necessary to stop in the middle of firing a cartridge, the return knob can be pulled all the way back to the initial position to open the jaw. Once the return knob is pulled back, the safety of the cartridge is engaged and that cartridge cannot be used and fired again. Operating Precaution 3 Before installing a new cartridge, it is necessary to clean and rinse the jaw of the instrument. When installing a new cartridge, make sure that there are no residual staples inside the jaw.